Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple Bluetooth Arduino project and also using the MIT App Inventor creating an app so that you can control your Arduino uh, with your phone. So this intro video just shows you what you'll be able to do after following along with this video. Uh, thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoy. So I'm going to show you guys how to use the MIT App Inventor to create a simple Bluetooth Arduino project. So let's get started. You're going to want to create a new project, add a Bluetooth client, go to user interface, add not a button, but a list picker. Let's title this Bluetooth. This is where you'll see your Bluetooth devices from your phone. And let's add a slider. And change this from 0 to 200 and we're gonna fill it across the screen. It doesn't look like it's gonna fill on the computer but once you look at it on your phone the slider will fill all the way across the screen. Okay so now you're gonna add a button and this is what will switch the firing mechanism to shoot the <laughs> barbecue skewer. Okay and we'll title that fire. We'll even change the color to red. Okay you can clean this up a little bit if you want to, but I'm just going to run through the basics. So you're going to go up to your blocks. You're going to um, click on your list picker. You're going to say, before picking, you're going to want to um, go back to your list picker, select list picker elements. You're going to go down to your Bluetooth client. And you're gonna look at those address and names. And you go back to your list picker and say after picking, you're gonna want to um, set the list picker to it's gonna be list picker selection, and you're gonna set that to calling the Bluetooth devices oh. and display those addresses, then you can go back to list picker and get that selection. All right, now we're going to do with the slider. You're going to say when the position cha changes on the slider, you want to call the Bluetooth device and send one, uh, one byte number. And we have to round that number just for the Arduino's sake, just to get make things simple. Otherwise, you're sending floating point numbers, and so we'll say get that thumb position number. And for our fire button, it's button number one, and we say when that thing is clicked, we want to call the Bluetooth device, Bluetooth device, and send a one byte number, and we can send any number. Well. Not any number, but a single byte number, which is pretty much up to 255. But since we set our slider to 0 to 200, we'll set this to 210. Just okay, and see, that's your deck. And also, a trick if you guys download the MIT App Inventor app on your phone, you can say scan the QR code, go up here to AI Companion, and scan that and then connect and you'll be able to edit your app in real time and see how it works. Okay, so I attached the code to this video um, and it had some comments in it to work you through about how to set up this little project, but I'm gonna give you a quick video tutorial on how to set this thing up. So I just use Legos to build this thing and a rubber band as my propulsion mechanism and it just has two servos in there I'll leave the Lego building to you guys but the Arduino pretty much servos have usually have three wires coming from them brown is usually ground red is usually uh, the power source in my case uh, 5 volts works and that is powered from the Arduino and then there's an orange yellow colored one and 
So for my fire servo, I attach that to pin five, and for my base servo, it goes to pin six of the digital side for both of them. Okay, so that is with the servos. Now onto the Bluetooth module. I am using an HC01. I think it's I think it's actually an HC04. Uh, I'll, I'll attach that in the bottom of the video. Anyways, so this guy has four wires coming from it. As you can see, two of the wires are, are for uh, power and ground, and the other is to send text files and read uh, text file, or not text files, uh, read data and send data. Um, okay. And it's pretty self-explanatory, except there is a little trick to it where it says TXD with the arrow going out. You actually want to attach that one to RXD of the Arduino and vice versa for RXD on this guy. So again, the TXD from the Arduino attaches to the RXD on here. Okay, that should do it for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.